We now return to Theo Town. All right. I got some good news. I got some bad news. Bad news is uh, there's no functional way to change this, at least not that I have seen. I couldn't find a mod to change any of that, so we're kind of stuck with it. And uh, the good news is, though, there's actually diagonal rail in here. Uh, I'm not there. It, it just by default has diagonal functionality. I just assumed it did not because, you know, actual road has it, and uh, it's just one more thing that is so screwed up about this menu in here. But it's uh, something I guess I should have tried on my own instead of just assuming. You should never assume. It makes an ass out of you and me. That's right, I'm including you in this mistake. Welcome. Okay, let's go ahead. Another thing I wanted to do is change this. To there. Uh, because... Rather than have it this big, ugly thing that's going to cause me all sorts of headaches with all of the various little uh, connections, and now I didn't think about this. I'm going to put a tunnel out here. Hmm. Well, I guess I could terraform a little bit. Oh, let's just no, let's go with this for now. Uh, so we're going transport train. You'll notice I added another mod, but I don't think I'll be using it, so I'm not going to talk about it. We'll use constant height to create a tunnel. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so now obviously this one is going to work out. This one, not so much. So I tunnel it into there, and that works too, and I guess it probably will. It's not going to look great. And I can only imagine snafu, stuff like this is going to cause... I would also kind of like to change this up if I could as well, but I think there's only so many things I can do. Top is just being a complete mess. Constant height. Hopefully that connects up. Road. Expressway. Good. Now. I guess I can get rid of that. Okay. So now, instead of this big ugly thing, I can also adjust that. Uh, uh, delete tunnel? There we go. I go down to there. Okay, so let's come in here now and we will try diagonal rail. I probably have to pull it back to here, and I hate every bit about this. What I'd actually like to do is maybe have it go to like here. Good God, that's horrible. That would be level, wouldn't it? Why is it so bad? Why can't they just fix it and make it work? That'll go straight out. Now we've fixed that. Um, 
God, it might be worth having a bridge here or something to avoid whatever nonsense this is. Classic example of putting functionality in your game that does not quite do what you want it to do. Or just putting it in there and just avoiding fixing it. God, elevated would just be so much better at this point. Well, believe it. Um, come back to that later and figure out what that does. God, that's bad. Okay, uh, and then I gotta come in here and fix these roads. Road. Okay, now unfortunately, that does not solve this issue out here with the same situation. So, what I'm thinking of doing... I wonder if I can't just maybe delete this. Well, I'm going to do this too. I'm kind of concerned. I'm really kind of hoping that this still spawns train. take a one-way rail uh, I can't do that can I because that's gonna block it Shit. so we gotta do do that as a one-way here and then run it over with this yeah, okay, so now they'll run that way, and then do that, and then come back with regular rail. Yeah. I don't know that that's going to help everything, but maybe it'll help something. Uh, what will I do here? Oh, I don't know. Uh, we'll watch that one and see what happens. Uh, traffic light, though. Maybe train... change the train lights just a little. Why don't we do a smaller traffic light here, just so that anything that's parked on the edge here can figure that one out. We'll let this run. We'll see. Okay, it does still spawn trains. Good. Getting that crumped up. And this probably is trying to turn left and is now... I don't know why it's being allowed to come this way. This is a one-way rail. Obviously, uh, issues have not been solved here. I don't know why it is trying to fucking turn around. I don't get that part. Aggravating shit. Well, anyway, and then there was another part of this that I wanted to change, which was up here to avoid this. So what I think I'd like to do... Let's see if I can't move this. try here for is to adjust this. Why don't we adjust it now instead of screwing with it further here. So, can I do a lowering of the terrain? Not without changing the whole landscape. I was going to try and create a little valley in here, but that's not going to work. So that I could then bridge over it. I guess I could keep going with it. Let's see here. Right. 
So now, what we'll do, grab that transport, train, rail. Okay. And then grab the road, country road, bridge it. Wait, is that country road? Yes, it is. Okay. Uh, bridge it. Okay. Okay, that will do what I want it to do, sort of. Um, not the initial plan, but here we go. I do regret doing this, though. If I had known, I probably would not have planned it like this. That's connected now. This one has to be. Road, country road, and another bridge. Shed another bridge. Thank you. Alright. Then, of course, we have to replace the train station. Okay, it does, it does actually work on the curve there. It's good, at least. And you can put a bus stop right in front of it, so that works, too. Okay. Not, not so great, to be honest, but you know, whatever. It, it works now and prevents at least one more batch of intersections, because now we've only got that one, and then we've got those and a long distance to those. So I feel better about that at the very least. We've got to do our parts here and do a train crossing even though it doesn't functionally act like a train crossing, so it's not going to matter, and I'm willing to bet somebody is going to get absolutely blasted by a train eventually. I mean, if, if the trains themselves do this aurora, aurora, you know what I'm saying, they swallow their own goddamn tail. <laughs> and, uh, I mean, God, this is awful. How on earth did they allow that to happen? Just, they said, okay, yeah, this works. Just, uh, let it go. I guess you just don't design it to, to have any crossings at all. Anyway. Okay, uh, and then, and then I guess it's, it's up to me to determine where the next stops will be, but I don't want to work on that right now. Uh, what I do want to work on... I kind of want to come back in here and change a few things uh, with this. Like, I want to try and squeeze in a little bit more greenery in places, and I want to get rid of that monstrosity. So let's fix up that. Now, what I could do is make a smaller park. But I think what we'll do is just kind of... Yeah, actually, let's, let's grab public park. Maybe, like, a small park that will at least cover the area. Boy, if I had a 3x3, three three, that would be ideal. I kind of like the idea of, like, a little family park in the neighborhood. I could put these kinds of things there. It's just amazing to me. You know, this game has so much potential for customization and creativity and all of that. And then it's just... It has nothing. The, the amount of, of things in here just almost non-existent. Options for what you can place down and all that. It's really aggravating. Um, okay, so that'll develop. What else was that? Oh, yes, I was going to remove that light. That is unnecessary there. Turn that off. Turn that off. Okay. 
Now, that's somewhat of an issue. I think that uh, I'm going to have to maybe fill some of these blank spots in that are actually facing roads. Well, but if I want them to be like these suburbs, uh, let's do that instead. Put these fences in. It's something I've sort of ignored. just want to see what they look like with that. I guess we're doing the tall wooden fence or the modern fence. I think it's the modern fence is what I chose for the suburbs. It's not going to go on the interior. This is an interior road, isn't it? In which case, we don't need lights on that intersection there. Probably don't need one there either. Oh, never mind then. Let's kind of leave that. Okay, we're starting to see some of that. Let's come down to this lot. And I have a slightly different idea what to do here. Dirt road. No. expand this a little bit. Of course, we got to get rid of trees in the area. And then we'll come in our fences. Expand on that. The chain link. Do the tall wooden. And then just a regular decorations for like, uh, random industrial shit. Probably good enough. Uh, and then let's grab a little commercial. Still not really sure what to do with the rest of this out here. We'll ignore it for now. Oh, I didn't put any uh, vehicles in that. Uh, we can probably put a pregnant, a handicapped, 
and we'll say this one is busy. Okay. So are we seeing any new metros now that I've destroyed that? Probably not. I mean, they got nowhere to go, so why would they? Got this little thing going out here. It's not, it's not really a metro. Um, I am curious to see where it goes, though. It's going to loop around here, or if it's heading out of town. All right, poor, poor housing. This is just, they're not even leaving. They're not even leaving the spot. That's what irritates me, is that this is just a cluster here. And I can't just make it one way because then, then it snafus the whole thing. What if? Well, it would have to be from here to here, right? If we come in and take rail one way going this way. now that now that's borked so this one might still be an issue let's just see though if we can at least so no trains will ever yeah see I just I, there's no throughput now now you can't do this long to tell me that I couldn't have any water back here. So I don't know if maybe maybe it's because they're going oh boy. Uh, maybe it's because they're going to um, industrial plots that are by rail and so the only plots here are you know right along the thing here and that's why we're seeing this. I mean, that would kind of be my bet. So why don't we try... I didn't... I didn't... I... Fuck, I just don't want them to, to go from that. Like, this rail depot is meant to be where it shoves off to. You know, they, they take their industrial output, put it here, and then it goes outwards. And actually, thinking about that, it probably should have a rail connection to the port, you'd think. But uh, we didn't do that, so now this whole thing's screwed. Well, in that case, wealthy. What can we do about that? Maybe I should continue focusing on my little uh, suburbs here. So let's let's do that instead. Just ignore the fiasco that I've got going on over there. So uh, this one, I am going to kind of do like I was talking about and make it more in line with like uh, uh, Sandy, Utah in that it will it'll be more compact I will actually maybe utilize more 
space here. Really, I mean, that could come down. I guess it can just come down here. It should stay within, though, so why don't we grab it from there, go here, even though now we've created a T-junction where it doesn't need to be. It was actually going to be fine where it was before, whatever. These are not the most efficient things anyhow. No. the sack rather I should just put it under all of them so we don't really have to worry about that. It sure would be nice if I could actually see the fucking roads, though. Right. So now... Try this with our fence. Probably going to have to change the terrain there. Ah, okay, that's not doable. Well, I mean, it could be if I sent a road up there, actually, then that, let's, let's do that. One house that's going to live on the hill up there. Obviously that is much more compact. Let's go into our terrain and we'll put land down. There. Now the people have their lawns. What else would we see here? Really, I can't imagine much else in there. Maybe a park or two? Let's put in a little tree park here. Right there at the edge. Let's see if that pops up. Nothing yet. Okay. Well, it's probably not going to be wealthy demand, um, which is here, because there's nothing wealthy about this place. There's 
not really any amenities, uh, such as schools and or services. What can we do about that? A big elementary school out here. Try one way. Cover a good portion of the suburb here. Putting that right there would be good. A big high school. Goes right up against the rail line there. That's probably not the best place for that. Um, so there is there is a neighborhood in Sandy, uh, where, like, right next to each other, you do see um, an elementary school, a high school, like a community college, and they are right next to each other, like, within, within a block or two of each other. So it is, like, an all-in-one community kind of thing, um, and this might actually work. I mean, having it right next to that is not ideal. But... There's another high school down here, anyway. Well, we just don't really have any, uh... Any other options. I mean, the, there's the big high school that covers a lot, and then there's a little high school that doesn't. quite a ways. Should probably be down the hill. I mean, really then, if I'm going to do that. Okay. I'll pull it back. Well, I mean, it could go here. But then we're up against it on that one. Either way... Somebody's going to be eating the terrain. Right. Boy. This game sure is a challenge to play sometimes. You know what? I'm just going to anticipate this will be a problem, too. Son of a bitch. Go away. Okay. Try it again. God, why the terrain tools suck so bad?
not going to fit flat still, is it? What the fuck is going on with this thing? It's on perfectly flat terrain and it's just... It's not doing it. I guess it's built that way. I didn't notice that before. For some reason, it's built down into the ground. It's really annoying. something like this? Probably not. I will anyway. <sighs> I just don't like that. kind of hate paving over everything, but you, you do kind of hate parking. Nothing else that gives them more of a sense of realism. But I always have to second guess myself in that. Okay, I'll detail the parking lot. I build too many parking lots on camera as is. Uh, I still don't know what to do with this. Our demand has gone away for that. We do still have this sort of big industrial thing going on here. So why don't we add a little bit more to our industrial park uh, and maybe some of that up now. Could come down here. Where? We're probably going to want that. Probably connect her up there, right? Although I did. Now that defeats the purpose of even having something like that. It would be better then to put the roads on the outside. All right, let's try this again. I'd have to remember that there's going to be that. This doesn't look great either. Can't I drop fence? Of course not. Ew. Ah, son of a bitch. I wish these things would just take the first time I put them down. I'm getting really tired of hitting things over and over again. Not dense. Well, I'm... Maybe just a little one.
Bet you I'm gonna get screamed at for water. Correct call there. Someone in the city is always going to be out of water. That is my guarantee. Alright. That doesn't look too bad. It would look better if they were a little more evolved into larger houses. because otherwise there is still too much space in between them. But it looks a little bit better than this, which is... Okay, I guess. I mean, if these are supposed to be wealthier neighborhoods, you probably would see a little bit more space in between there, like that. Now, see, we're going to have the double fence here. So it's okay to have that neighborhood right there across from this. It'd be better, of course, if this thing ended up uh, with nicer technology stuff. So, yeah, these, these fucking trains. Oh boy. <laughs> Maybe there's a, a better way, a more simple f train uh, depot that we can use. I don't think so, though, because this uses a split rail thing, too. I don't know. Whatever they did, they made an absolute mess of this. Oh, it just looks really bad. Anyway. Okay. Well, proof of concept for the, what the new neighborhoods are going to look like out here. We'll just kind of finish that off. Um, really not sure what to do with that. Maybe I'll just extend it out to yet another little neighborhood there. But as I was saying before... Probably a theme park time up in here, and maybe actually instead of residential, this should just be a tiny little commercial strip, although we're going to have tons of commercial out here. So I'm not too concerned about that. Oh no! I, I knew that was going to happen. I knew that would happen eventually. I can't believe... Well, I mean, just, just, the game in general just doesn't have any traffic simulation whatsoever. That bridge might want to signal something. Oh, fuck me. I should probably just forget any kind of pipe layout whatsoever and just come in and make sure every square on the map has water somewhere. Just so we don't have to ever worry about that again. But anyway, yeah, I think it's time to uh, rush this to the end here. So once we get that down, I'll splatter down a bunch of the residential. Uh, this thing out here, I'm still not totally sure on. But now that this is available, I can cross some farm over there. And I did clean up the farm edges here. That still has not developed. These ones have, but they haven't developed. These actually. What the fuck? Is that zone? Yes, it is. It must just be the yellow overlay on brown dirt, and that's why it looks like that. Well, anyway, yeah. So we'll uh, we'll try and rush some of that. I think I will do maybe a little bit of road layouts ahead of time. Uh, just sort of everywhere and uh, kind of get that going so we don't have to wait so long. This should probably just go straight up into here. No, it shouldn't. This is an airport road. You don't want that connecting. You want controlled access to this. 
think we'll leave it there. It's a very piddly and pitiful looking kind of airport. Oh well, oh well. Game started out strong and then we kind of just petered off. And then I gotta get, you know, all the traffic and transport and all that set up. Traffic's still really good except for a few hot spots in the city that we can probably set up metro lines or something. Yeah. Yeah, I think we'll just kind of run it to the end as fast as I can. So I'll end this one here, and I'll see you next time.